time. Brought to you by Temper. This is Singapore Tonight. Good evening, I'm Dawn Tan. Tonight's top stories. Factory output worse than expected in March, but the economy's outlook still upbeat, driven by a global electronics recovery and peaking interest rates. A new sports scholarship in the works for promising young athletes. It will help with expenses of their undergraduate studies. A resale prices for Singapore's public housing flats climb for the 16th straight quarter. Analysts warn that they could keep on rising in the next few months. Singapore and Indonesia affirm the continuity of future bilateral ties ahead of the two countries' imminent leadership changes. Also tonight, the new CQ at Clark Key unveiled. We take a closer look at the revamped landmark dining and entertainment hub on the riverfront. Also tonight, a high-stakes visit in China as President Xi Jinping tells America's top diplomat China and the United States should be partners, not rivals. India's top court rejects petitions that paper slips be used to verify counts on electronic voting machines as national polls enter their second of seven phases. And in your Asia Business Update, getting Singapore to its net zero emissions target faster Oil giant ExxonMobil opens a $60 million facility to research low-carbon solutions. Plus, mining giant Anglo-American thumbs its nose. A bigger rival BHP's $39 billion offer, saying it's too undervalued. A recovery in the global tech cycle and cutting of interest rates by major central banks are expected to keep Singapore's economy. Still to come, significant developments in reproductive technology. I speak to the scientists behind the research. So far. That's a wrap for Singapore tonight. Don't forget headlines anytime at cna.asia. Plus, we're also on Facebook, YouTube, and X. Good night.